You'll also be trained and evaluated by a few civilian specialists. Civilians are here because they are our very best source of information on enemy aircraft. One of the most qualified is our tag rep, call sign Charlie. She has a PhD in astrophysics, and she's also a civilian contractor, so you do not salute her. But you better listen to her because the Pentagon listens to her about your proficiency. It's all yours, Charlie. Thank you. Hello. We will be dealing with F-5s and A-4s as our mixed simulators. Now then, as most of you know, the F-5 doesn't have the thrust-to-weight ratio that the MiG-28 has, and it doesn't bleed energy below 300 knots like the MiG-28. However, the MiG-28 does have a problem with its inverted flight tanks. It won't do a negative G pushover. The latest intelligence tells us that the most it will do is one negative Excuse me, Lieutenant. Is there something wrong? Yes, ma'am. The data on the MiG is inaccurate. How's that, Lieutenant? Well, I just happened to see a MiG-28... We... Do... we... Sorry. We happened to see a MiG-28 do a 4G negative dive. Where did you see this? That's classified. It's what? It's classified. I could tell you, but then I'd have to kill you. Lieutenant, I have top secret clearance. The Pentagon sees to it that I know more than you. Well, ma'am, it doesn't seem so in this case now, does it? So, Lieutenant, where exactly were you? Well, we Thank you. started up on his six when he pulled through the clouds, and then I moved in above him. Well, if you were directly above him, how could you see him? Because I was inverted. <coughs> No, he was, man. It was a really great move. He was inverted. You were in a 4G inverted dive with the MiG-28? Yes, ma'am. At what range? No, about two meters. Well, it's actually about one and a half, I think. It was one and a half. I've got a great Polaroid of it. And he's, he's right there. Must be one and a half. It was a nice picture. picture. It was a half. Uh, Thanks. Lieutenant. Like what were you doing there? <laughs> Communicating. Communicating. Giving up foreign relations. That was, uh, you know, giving him the bird. You know, the finger. Yes, I know the finger, Goose. I'm, I'm sorry. I hate it when it does that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. So you're the one. Yes, ma'am. All right, gentlemen, we have a hop to take. The hard deck on this hop will be 10,000 feet. There'll be no engagement below that. Move it! Hey, well, don't be late again. You look great, honey. Thanks, dear. See you in pre-flight. Lieutenant, why didn't you tell me that you were a famous MiG insulter? Would it have made any difference? Not in the ladies' room, no. And what would have? I'm an instructor at this school. I see 20 new hot shots every eight weeks. Now, I'm sure you can figure that out. Look, Lieutenant. I'd just really like to hear about the MiG sometime. We've got security clearance. You can read about it. 